Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome back. It's really nice Thank to you. have you back. Here we go. Okay, I already have 12. Ya somos 12 en la clase. Esperemos un poquito más. Thank you so much for coming on time. Muy puntuales. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Was it good? Bad? Busy? How was your day? It was tired. Really? It was a very tiring day. Okay. Gracias por el esfuerzo de unirse a la clase. What were we covering yesterday? ¿Qué vimos ayer? Who can remember about the topic from yesterday? Address of frequency. Ah, exactly. Frequency. Acuérdense esa, esa keyword, esa palabra clave. Frequency. When are we going to use adverbs of frequency? When? In routines. Okay, when we want to express frequency in routines. Excellent. Can you give me some examples about adverbs of frequency? Always. Always. Sometimes. Often. Sometimes. Often. Often. Hardly ever. Hardly Never. ever. Never. And can you give me some examples of expressions? Frequency expressions. No adjectives. Perdón, adverbs. Expresiones de frecuencia. Uh -huh. I play soccer five. Five times a week. Uh, five times a week, once a week, twice a week. Uh, yeah, tell me, Stephanie. I never play soccer. Never. I never play. You you never play soccer? Why? No. You don't like soccer? I don't like it. No. You don't like it? So? I don't like it. How about uh, the soccer world? ¿Quién está esperando the soccer world? The beginning of the, that contest. Everyone. I am waiting. You're waiting for that? Okay. So look what, what she's saying. Stephanie, I don't like soccer. I never play. Uh, but do you like watching soccer, Stephanie? No, I don't like it. You don't like it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Ok, Carla, gracias por indicarnos. No pueden encender su cámara, está desde su trabajo. Thank you, Carla. ¿Alguien más que tenga dificultades? Not really. Who's having issues? Ok, I already have 22. Ya estamos 22. Empecemos. So, adverse of frequency. That's all right. We are going to use this type of vocabulary to express frequency. And that's it. So let's move on. ¿Cuál es el tema de ahora? Mm, this is an exercise. Si tenemos tiempo, lo vamos a completar, right? But this is what I want to show you. I have some examples here. And we have um, this um, formula. ¿Se acuerdan de la fórmula que vimos ayer? Logramos un poco de verla. Teníamos el subject. In the case of subject, podemos utilizar, look, personal pronouns. O fácilmente pueden usar el nombre de la persona. In this case, we have Daniel. Or you can also use this other type of subject, vegetarians. So, you need to have the subject. And after that, the adverb. And the main verb, el verbo principal. Y les decía que para la tercera persona se conjuga el verbo. Daniel always pass, passes his exams. Look, passes his exam. So I have some examples here. I always 
study after class. I usually walk to work. I normally, look. Aquí tenemos otro ejemplo. No solo son los que vimos ayer. We can also have normally, generally. Normally, generally. Often and frequently. Often, también lo pueden escuchar. Often and frequently. Tendrían como la misma intensidad o la misma frecuencia. Sometimes I sometimes sink in the shower. I sometimes sink in the shower. How about you, class? Do you sink in the shower or not? No. No, you never sink in the shower? Okay. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I sometimes. I like singing. Right? Okay, so the occasionally. <laughs> Look, aquí hay otro nuevo que tenemos. Occasionally. I occasionally go to bed late. In my case, I always go to bed late. Seldom. Miren esta frecuencia. Seldom. No es tan frecuente. It's like 10%. I seldom. Put salt on my food. Hardly ever, rarely, raramente. I hardly ever get angry. I rarely get angry. Never. Vegetarians never eat meat. Right? So, acá tenemos ejemplos de esta fórmula. Subject plus adverb, and after the adverb, we have the main verb. Pero en el caso del verbo to be, este es un verbo, ok? This is a verb, y podríamos incluso tener un siguiente verbo, ok? For example, he is always running. Él está siempre corriendo. He is always sleeping. Y ya no sería el verbo to be, el verbo principal. Quiero que verban eso. He is always sleeping. Ok. Entonces, si es aceptable, podemos tener exacto más de un verbo en mi oración. Pero, primero... Necesito el verbo to be. In this case, he is, she is, they are. And after that, I have the adverb. And at the end, I can have the other verb in a complement, of course. Right? Así que ahí quedan las fórmulas para expresar frecuencia. Questions about pronunciation or probably meaning. Or about the formulas? Do you have questions? Mm -hmm. Yes, Stephanie, tell me. Uh, what is the meaning? Seldom. 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 Um, ¿Cómo lo traduciríamos en español? Algo que se le parezca seldom. Let, let me look for it, la traducción específica. Raramente. 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 Pero es que eso sería rarely. Rarely. Let like, me, let me see if cuando. I have. Casi, casi. Ah, ok, es que si no hay como algo en sí que se le parezca en español. Seldom. Como de vez en cuando, Tichi. From time to time sería de vez en cuando. Muy pocas veces. Pocas veces. Sí, porque no hay como una traducción literal de seldom. Ok, usemos acá. Uh -huh. Any other questions? Solo me tira sinónimos. Raramente me lo toma. Raramente. Uh -huh. Raramente. Rarely, raramente. Right. Any other questions? Okay, you're welcome. 
preguntas? No, no more questions about this. Okay, because today we are going to move on to a different topic. Look, we are not longer going to continue about adverse of frequency because today we need to cover the second topic from section number one. Questions with how using short answers. Acuérdense que en inglés tenemos tres tipos de statements. What is a statement class? ¿Qué es un statement? Oraciones. Exactly, or sentences. sentences. What type of sentences or statements do we have? Tenemos... Affirmative. Great, affirmative, affirmative. Negative. Mm -hmm. Negative and? Question. Okay, we can say question form or interrogative form. So in this case, we are going to be using the questions, interrogative form, using this WH word, how. ¿Qué significa how? What is the meaning of how? Como. 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 Mm. O, ya se van a fijar, depende del contexto, puede tener un segundo significado. If you go to the platform, there you are going to find a video. Um, Paola, please, escribamos el nombre completo. Solo me dice ahí Paola. Okay, if you go to the platform, there you are going to find a video. It's very interesting because we got some examples. Solo que, no sé chicos, si me gusta solo a mí, or probably to you as well, pero escucho con un audio bien bajo estos videos de la de pre intermedio 2. No sé si les, hace, si les pasa a ustedes, right? No? Or probably it's me, tal vez soy yo. No, teacher. Not really? Okay. So, here we go. So, questions with how. Mm, intonation. Mm, primero detengámonos por acá. No, before. Vamos a hacer eso al final, okay? Intonation. So, questions with how, and we are going to practice short answers. Take a look at the examples that we have here. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello, everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well, how good, they refer to performance. Okay, let me stop here. Did you hear what she was mentioning? She was yes. like making this um, yes, yes. explanation. When are we going to use how? Okay, let me play. Pretty good. Again. Okay. Not so good. Okay, listen. How? How often, how long, they refer to times or frequency. Whenever we use these two expressions, how often and how long, it's because we want to express frequency. Frequency, right? Yes. How well, how good, they refer to performance. How well and how good they refer to Performance and what is performance class? What is that? Performance. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué será eso?
alguien. Yo tengo idea que es frequency and performance. What is performance class? Actuaciones, teacher. Realizar mm. algo. Ah, ok, me gusta esa, la segunda. Realizar algo. Pria, actuación, tal vez no. La forma en que nosotros desarrollamos algo. Miren los eh, adverbs that we have here. Well and good. How well. ¿Qué tan bien lo hacen? Well and good pueden ser bien similares. Right. How well and how good. Performance. So, no olviden esa información. Frequency and performance. Look at the examples that we have. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions. On okay. How often do you go to English class? How often do you go to English class? In your case, to the pre-intermediate classes, how often do you go to English class? Every night. Okay, can you make the complete sentence? Hagamos la eh, oración completa. I every night go to the English mm. class. Vale, déjenme escribir eso. I every night go to the English class. ¿Se acuerdan de la fórmula que acabamos de ver? De los adverbs of frequency. ¿Qué me decía? ¿Qué necesito primero? Subject. subject, subject. Y luego del subject, ¿qué iba? Adverb of ah, frequency. Adverb of frequency. Ok. The adverb. And what do we have next? The verb. The main the verb. verb. Main, In this case, main the verb. verb. And we can also have a complement. ¿Se cumple nuestra regla okay. acá? Subject, adverb, verb, and complement. Sí, estamos yes, siguiendo la estructura. Yes, ok. Yes. So, en lugar de decir every night, puedo dar la expresión completa. I every night go to the English class. Great. So, how often do you go to work? How often do you go to work? I every day I go to my work. Ok, I every day. Ocupemos un adverb. Oh. We can say every day, oh. always excellent. But probably not always because we don't go on Sundays or do you go on Sundays? Van los domingos también a trabajar. Do you go on Sundays? Oh, yes. oh really? Sometimes. <laughs> ah, entonces. ¿Será que se es always o qué otro adverb ocuparíamos? Sometimes. I usually. Sometimes. Usually, some, no, pero sometimes. Ok, quiero que eso les quede veces. claro. A, a veces? veces. No creo que sea a veces, no. ¿Qué ocuparían? Regularly. I usually, probably generally. Normally. Right? Normally, yeah. I normally, yes. I normally go to work, right? Because always, a menos que trabajen los, todos los días de la semana, I always go to work, right? How often do you check your cell phone? How often do you check your cell phone? I always. I always. Check my cell phone. Great job, Linda. I always check my cell phone. Question number two. How long do you spend Teacher, at your English class? How, how mm -hmm. long? How long? It's referring to time. Oops, let me do it again. Se refiere a tiempo. I spend yeah. one hour. Muy bien. How long do you spend at the English class? 
¿Cómo lo responderíamos? I. I spend one I hour. I spend one hour. Ok, I like it. How often se refiere a frecuencia. Ahí no, ahí no contestaríamos con los frecuencia. Los adverbs of frequency. Eh, uh -huh. No, más que todo especificamos el tiempo porque dice que tanto spend, el verbo spend, pasas en la escuela. How long do you spend at school? Five hours, Podríamos three hours, depende. Yes, tell me. Podríamos decir, teacher, que en el caso de how long es como más específico. Ah, me, me parece muy bien. Es más específico. Uh -huh. Siempre habla, tal vez no de frecuencia, sino del tiempo exacto. Si les pregunto, how long do you check your cell phone? In a day, en un día, how long do you check your cell phone? I check my cell phone, um, like oh, five nice. hours in a day, like three hours in a day, okay? okay? Look at this one, how well, how well do you speak English? How well do you speak English? This is performance, que también lo hacen. How well do you play the guitar? How well do you dance? How well? I play the guitar very well. Okay, excellent. I play the guitar very well. ¿Y qué si no pudiéramos tocar la guitarra? ¿Qué ocuparíamos? ¿Ocuparíamos very well? ¿O cómo diríamos no, no puedo? How well do you speak English? How well, uh -huh. Once again, please. I can't. I like it. I can't. Acuérdense que el verbo can es para hablar de habilidades. Podríamos incluso decir acá. I can play the guitar very well. I can't play the guitar. Usamos el verbo can. Can es para hablar de uh, habilidades. How well do you dance? ¿Qué clase? Escucho mi clase. How well do you dance? ¿Qué tan bien bailan? How well do you dance? ¿No? I can dance very well. You can't. I can't dance. Who can dance in the class? How well do you dance? Para los que sí pueden bailar, ¿qué dirían? I can. Ya no sería play, sería I can dance. Very well. Very well. Another question con el verbo cook. How well do you cook? How well do you cook? I band, Ivan, how well do you cook? I can cook very well. You can or can't? I can. Really? I can. You can cook very well. I can cook pizza. <laughs> really? Wow, My that's dear. delicious. In your case, Francisco Antonio, how well do you cook? I can cook very well. <laughs> okay, I can't cook very well. Yes. There we go. Let me ask a girl. Preguntémosle a... Bueno, no, tengo acá a Luis Eduardo. How well do you cook, Luis Eduardo? I can't. You can't. Can't. I can't cook very well. Very well. Okay. Queda claro, entonces, ¿a qué se refiere how well? Performance. Acuérdense cómo lo hago. Look at this one. How good are you at speaking English? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entonces en how well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? 
¿Qué vende diferente entre la primera y la segunda? How well and how good. ¿Qué tan bien y qué tan bueno eres? Ah, one more time. Me gustó esa interpretación. One more time. ¿Qué tan bien en diferencia against eh, qué tan bueno eres? ¿Qué tan bueno eres? Ah, ok. ¿Qué tan bien lo haces? ¿Qué tan bueno eres? Ok, I like yes, it. Yes, yes. That's all right. So, how good are you at? Pongamos algunos ejemplos. ¿Qué tan bueno eres para? How good are you at? Les pongo acá. Driving. Driving. How good are you at driving class? Driving? ¿Saben qué es ese verbo? Driving. Manejar. Manejar. Muy bien. So how good are you at driving? In my case, I'm not that good. I am good at. I am not good at. No soy buena para. Y así responderían, ¿ok? So, how good are you at swimming? Karina Alejandra, how good are you at swimming? How good are you at swimming? Swim? Swimming? Mm, no, está igual. Ah, mira, aquí les puse unos ejemplos. ¿Cómo respondemos? I am not good. I am not good at swimming. I am not good at swimming. How good are you at speaking Japanese class? Edwin, how good are you? at speaking Japanese. I am not good at speaking Japanese. Great job. How about uh, Maria, Maria Dolores? How good are you at speaking Japanese? Uh, You're mute. So microphone, Maria. Please. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, I am not good at. You are not good at. Ah, saben que incluso muy bien. Se puede dejar hasta acá la respuesta. I am not good at it. Podemos decir at it. Or I am not good at speaking Japanese. Right? But before we continue, because I have some other examples, we are going to check the attendance list. ¿Cómo vamos sintiendo este tema? ¿Cuántas expresiones tenemos o cuántas preguntas tenemos con how? How many do we have? How many questions do we have using how? Four. Four. Which are they? ¿Cuáles son? How well. How well. How good. How, often. how, good. how often. How often. Um, I forgot. <laughs> you forgot the other one. Okay, don't worry. Yeah. Right. That's all right. Okay, Andrea Gabriela. Andrea Gabriela. Yes, I guess this is, yes, this is the one. Andrea Gabriela Maravilla. Carlos Edgardo. Present teacher. Great. Carmen Lisette. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Rebeca. Claudia Rebeca Orellana. Chicos, alguien revisó WhatsApp. Alguien que haya escrito que no se pudo unir. Edwin Edgardo. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda Isabel. Esmeralda Present Isabel Vázquez. Excellent. Francisco Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Genesis Ariel. 
Génesis Ariel Pacheco. Iván Ibrahim Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ivan. Jennifer Tatiana. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, Jorge. Jose Alberto. I'm here. Thank you. Jose Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Karina Alejandra. Present. Okay, Karina, Carla Lisset. Carla Lisset Martinez. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Carmen Lisset me dice. Okay, yo voy a leer. No entendí muy bien, Carmen. Catherine Iracema. Present. Thank you. Leticia Aide. Present. Thank you. Linda Beatriz. Present. Great. Luis Eduardo. I'm here. Okay. Mayra Xiomara. Present teacher. Excellent. Maria Dolores. Present. Okay. Maritza Elizabeth. Maritza, Elizabeth Rojas. Melissa Stephanie. Present. Okay. Romeo Vladimir. Present teacher. Okay. Wendy Paola. Wendy Paola Lopez. And Jessica Esmeralda. Present. Okay, Jessica. So let me check the chat. ¿Qué me comentaba? Ah, muy bien. Muy bien, muy bien. Sí, les comentaba eso porque yo no he revisado WhatsApp. Ok, por eso les preguntaba si había alguien que había escrito algo o indicado que no iba a entrar a la clase. Right? So if you go to the platform, there you have a conversation. Look at the conversation that we have there. Um, this is a conversation in which these people is expressing about ability or about how good they develop these activities, right? So we are going to listen to this conversation. Here we go. Here we go. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. Okay. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. What are they talking about in this conversation? Who can tell me? What is this conversation about? About the play tennis. Ah, who can play tennis and who can't play tennis? Let me go back. It's I'm right a here. real fitness freak. Okay. You're in great shape. Look, who do we have here? Who are these people in this picture? What his name and what's her name? What his name? Ruth and Kate. Ah, okay. Yo escuché Keith. Sorry, no Kate. Vamos a ver si es Keith or Kate. Once again. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? Yes. This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. Keith. Yeah. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Okay. 
You're in great shape, kid. But first of all, let me ask you, class, what is the meaning of fitness freak? What is that, fitness freak? ¿A qué se refiere el title of the conversation? What is a fitness freak? What is this? ¿Qué es esto, clase? Mm -hmm. What comes to your mind? ¿Qué se les ocurre? Jorge Alberto, what is this? Fitness freak. Eh, una persona que hace mucho ejercicio. Ah, um, ok. ¿Saben qué significa freak? What is that? Maniático. Ah, man, <laughs> exactly. Loco, maniático, obsesionado, freak. Are you a fitness freak? No. No, teacher. <laughs> no, teacher. No, <laughs> no ni I'm por not cerca. <laughs> ¿Qué más? Deben ejemplos de algo que puedan decir, I am a freak at this. ¿Qué los obsesiona, les apasiona? Freak. Tal vez la limpieza, el orden. Not really. I, Punctuality. Ajá. Um, uh, uh -huh. uh, ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say? Co cocinero. Um, pero ¿cuál oh. es su pasión? La cocina. Ya. Yeah. So probably cooking. Oh, ya. Yeah. I'm a cooking freak. Really? You're a cooking freak? Yeah. You know, hay personas que son really obsessed with cars. So I'm a cars freak, obsesionado con los carros. There is other type of people who are soccer freak. ¿Han visto ese tipo de personas? So I have a friend, you know, he's a big fan of... um. Águila, Águila, right? So whenever Águila plays in a match, you know, and Águila lost, he starts crying. Tengo un amigo que llora cada vez que pierde su equipo. He starts crying, literally. He cries every time that his team doesn't win a match. So for sure, he's a soccer freak. So this is about fitness freak. Look, miren el comentario que le hace Ruth. You're in great shape. In great shape, kid. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. Wow, qué humilde, ¿verdad? I guess I'm a real fitness freak. First question. What is the first question? ¿Qué le pregunta? La primera. Let me see. Le pregunto. Um, Carmen Lisette, what is the first question? How often do you work out? How often, how often do you work out? ¿Cuál es su respuesta? Well, I, I do aerobic mm, twice a week. Ah, ah don't worry, and twice, twice. Twice, twice. A week and I play tennis Every week. Okay. Do you know what is the meaning of twice? ¿Saben qué es twice? Yes. Lisa? No, 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 twice. En lugar de decir two times, ¿qué decimos? Twice. 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 Mm -hmm. twice. ¿Y para decir una vez? Once, Once a week. One time. Once. Once. ¿Y será que podemos decir tres veces? Three times. Any other expression to indicate more than twice? Not, right? No. No, we don't have. So twice, once, three times, four times, five times. I do aerobics. Miren, nunca digamos, I play aerobics. Mm -mm. Siempre va el verbo. Do I do aerobics? I play soccer, I play tennis, I do aerobics. Okay, it's a verb do twice a week, and I play tennis every week. 
tennis. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, do you want to play some time? Okay, what is the next question? ¿Qué le sigue preguntando, Jose Alexander? Can you read this question, please? This, uh, um, this one. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué, ¿Qué tan bueno es para jugar tennis? Mm -hmm, ¿Qué tan bueno es para jugar? Just read it. Read it in English, please. Uh, how well do you play? Continue. Pretty well, I guess. Oh, pretty well, I guess. ¿Qué será pretty well, entonces? What is pretty well? Muy bueno, parece. Mm -hmm. Pretty well. Bastante bien. Bastante bien. Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Questions about pronunciation, vocabulary in this conversation. Pregunta, chicos. If not, solo vamos a tomar los ejemplos de how often do you work out? How well do you play? Okay. And that is the conversation. Now, look what we have here. Let's go back to the presentation. What do we have here? Ya tenemos la conversation. I'm a real fitness freak. This is going to be your exercise. Vamos a ir a los grupos, a los breakout rooms. And look, I want you to complete the questions with how and a word from the book. Pero antes, veamos acá um, los puntos de aclaración. Who can read this one? I need a volunteer. ¿Quién lee esta aclaración that we have here? Just one volunteer, please. Okay, Romeo, go ahead, please. Questions with how short answer. Great. Don't confuse good and well. Use the adjective good with be and the Adverb well with other verbs. How good are you at soccer? But how well do you play soccer? Oh, okay. Thank you. Ambos se refieren a performance. Okay. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? What is the difference then? Que uno lo voy a ocupar con el verb to be. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be, clase? Pero estar. En inglés. Ah, muy bien. Are. So, how good is he? How good are you? How good am I? Every time that you are going to use good, remember that you are going to use the verb to be. But in the case of well, no lo ocupo con el verbo to be. Lo ocupo con qué dice? With other simple verbs. Simple present. Mm -hmm. Es el simple present. How well. Acá tenemos el verbo play. Y es la estructura del presente simple. How well do you play soccer? How well do you cook? How well do you? Um, I, I don't know. Any other idea, right? Pero esa es la diferencia. Verbo to be. How good. Any other verb. How well. Okay. Great job. Les envío esta picture a WhatsApp. Tienen cinco minutos para completarlo y luego volvemos. Okay. Then we come back. Is it clear what we are going to do? ¿Está claro lo que vamos a hacer? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. So just give me a second. I'm going to send this picture to WhatsApp. Um, ¿Saben cómo compartir pantalla? Cuando están en los grupos. Yes, you do. By any chance, do you know how to share your screen? Sí. Yeah. Yes, I can. Para que así puedan compartir la, la imagen a sus compañeros. Ok. Go and check WhatsApp right now. We have five minutes to work in this exercise. 
and then we come back. Well, let me send you to different groups right now. Okay, go, five minutes. Here we go. Okay, go. I'm still missing Carla, Andrea, Esmeralda, Linda, and Maria Dolores. How about you, Paula? What happened to you guys? Pudieron accesar a las salas, no? Were you able to join your group? Yes, teacher, but I withdraw. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Okay, let me send you to a different group. How about now? Did you get the invitation? Sala cinco. Yeah, room number okay. five. Yes, go please. How about you, Carla? La primera sería often. How often, right? Ajá, esta sería nuestra opción. Often. How Las... often do you play? ¿Y la segunda? Do you play basketball? Sería como eres bueno en basketball. Good. Podría ser, no sé. Eh, no sería. Sé Quiero ver. Good. Good. Are you good? good. Are you good, good? Do you good. play basketball? Good. Do you play? Sí, good. Good. Yeah, sería bueno like porque buena. Él es bueno uh -huh. para jugar basketball. Sí, así ¿verdad? es. Good. Sí, good. Ah, sería el good y el otro. El otro ¿Tengo? es. Are you? Sería. Are you? El otro sería. Seriente de de art. Sería. El well. Tres. Do you well? Sería, sería, well, well, yeah. well, well, sería, well, 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 are you at, well, are you at volleyball? Vale, no. How well tres? are you at volleyball? How well are you at volleyball? How, well. si sí, tiene razón, how well. How well. How long do you spend at the gym? Ah, sí, aquí está la indicación para que podríamos estar. How? Sí, ahí tenemos las cuatro. ¿Y las opciones que están a, a la par no son las que podríamos elegir? Sí, sí. Sí, ahí sería la número cuatro. Mm -hmm. Ah, pues la conexión. Ah, sería la D. Y la última sería How long, ¿verdad? Sí, porque lleva How long. Do... Ajá, sí, sí, correcto. How long. Uh -huh. Y la conexión sería no tampoco la que sería. queda la C. C, va. Uh -huh. Sí, ¿verdad? A Cristel Martilla, a ver qué es eso. <risa> <risa> Aunque la respuesta queda no muy, no muy frecuente, como que dice. ¿Verdad? A ver qué tal. Es cierto. <risa> bueno, vamos a escuchar, no te pues sí. uh -huh. 
Did you finish? Uh, yes, you did. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's go back to the main room. Is that your baby, Stephanie? Yes. Oh, how old is he or she? Is he? He, okay, uh, how old? He is... Wow. <laughs> wow. 12 sí. days. Gracias por el esfuerzo, Stephanie. Yo estaría dormida. <laughs> Yo estaría en clase de inglés. <laughs> right? Sí. ¿Verdad, chicas? De only congratulations because of your name. Congratulations. Gracias por el esfuerzo, Stephanie. En serio. Gran esfuerzo. Sí. Gran esfuerzo. Sí. Sí. Una mujer muy, muy esforzada. Es, vamos a la sala. <laughs> Great Thank job. You. Vamos. <laughs> Okay, time to come back. Let's see. ¿Cómo les fue con sus, con el ejercicio? How was this exercise? If you could notice, there we have uh, the answers. Ahí teníamos las respuestas. Right, but before, before we checked. Les muestro algo antes de que chequeemos el ejercicio. Before we check this exercise. Look. Dijimos que íbamos a ver questions with how, with short answers, con respuestas cortas, ¿verdad? And here we have a video. Tenemos el video que nos da una idea de las short answers. Look. For example, how often, how often. Esa la vimos ayer. Acuérdense que ocupamos expressions of frequency or we can also use adverbs of frequency. How often do you work out? Every day, twice a week, not very often. How well, how well do you play tennis? Pretty well, about average, not very well. Aquí hay idea de cómo responder. Muy bien promedio y nada bien, not very well. How long do you spend at the gym? Y aquí expresiones de tiempo. 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekends. Expresiones de tiempo, 30 minutos, dos horas, alrededor de una hora. How good are you at sports? Pretty good, okay. Not so good. Y ahí tienen una idea de las short answers. But let me go back to the presentation because I want to check this exercise. And where is it? Aquí está. Here we go. Class number one. What is the correct expression or who can make the question? Carmen Lisette, please. Do you want to try? Do you want to try with number one? Um, Number one. How, how often do you like weight? Okay. Lift. 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 Eso sería levantar. Lift. Ah. How often do you lift weight? Tell me, Ivan. How often? Uh, the, con the second sentence. Okay, but let me write the first one. Do you agree on this one? ¿Están de acuerdo en estas? How often? This one? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, yes, vamos often. a ver. Yes, teacher. Number two. Ivan, Ivan, please. And How well do you play? Mm -hmm. How well do you play basketball? How well? How, how well do you play basketball? Are you in agreement class? Who got a different answer? No, no, it's correct. It's a correct. Okay, yes. excellent job, Francisco. Continue. How good are you at volleyball? How good? Mm, why not? How well? Por qué no? How well? Porque incluye el to be. That's right. Es lo que quería escuchar. There we go. Because we have the verb to be right there. And let me pick another. Maybe not volunteer. Maritza Elizabeth, Elizabeth, please. 
Okay, teacher, how long do you spend at the gym? Okay, at the gym? how long? Now we have the questions. Ahora quiero las respuestas. Carla, no, Carla, she is at work. Andrea Gabriela, please. How often do you lift weights? Which is the correct one? A, B, C, or D? Mm -hmm. Andrea, are you there? If not anyone else, cualquiera de la clase, please. Okay, thank you. Thank you, por eso me sí. he volunteers, porque si no, no sé si están ahí. Let sí, me no. Carlos Elgardo, how often do you lift weights? A, B, C, or D? Not, not very often. I prefer martial R. So, what is the correct letter? Letter? Yes, teacher. Letter C. Letter C. That's all right. Letter C is the correct one. Uh, Maria, continue, please. How well do you play basketball? A, B, or D? Um, yo creo que es la eh, li literal A. <laughs> A. Why? You need to be sure. De estamos ser seguro, yo creo. I think it's letter A. What do you think, class? Is it letter A, the correct one? Yes, 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 yes it is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Está muy bien, Maria. Don't worry. Thank How you. well do you play basketball? Not very well, but I love it. Continue, please. Let us see. How good are you at volleyball? How are you at you? I'm sorry. How good are you at volleyball? ¿Quién no ha participado? Vamos a ver. ¿Quién lo pongo a participar? Mayra. Are you still there, Mayra? Hello, teacher. Hello. How good are you at volleyball? Letter D. D? Pretty yes. good, but I hate it. Okay, right. Don't hesitate. Mayra, can you read the, the, the answer, please? How good are you at volleyball? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Por eso, fíjese que les pido tener la cámara encendida, si no, no sé si están ahí. Y la última clase. Oh, obviously, we have still got just one, one answer pending. Jessica, how long do you spend at the gym? How long do you spend at the gym? Hmm. About six hours a week. About six hours a week, right. So before we go, questions about the topic from today. ¿Cómo sintieron este tema? Questions with how? Very What? interesting. Interesting, easy? Yes, interesting. Right, miren, tenemos creo que ese Very ejercicio. Ahora sí ya pueden responder eso. Right, ya pueden responder estas preguntas. At volleyball, solo les aclaro la última. Type, ¿cómo responderíamos la número cuatro? Teacher, una, eh, Ajá. Diga. Yo, yo voy por esta parte y a este último exactamente donde está ahorita <risa> le he dado por todos lados y viera que... ¿Saben por qué? Se, la se las voy a decir. ¿Saben por qué? Porque sé que sí. How, ¿A quién se la di? Creo que era a Juvacit. Karina, ¿verdad? Karina, ¿cuál es la respuesta? How? How? I don't remember, teacher. Miren de qué habla. Not very well. No muy bien, dice. I need to take a typing class. ¿De qué está hablando? De que eh, como que describir de la máquina, como mecanografía. Algo muy así. bien. Entonces, how, well. Y el verbo que vamos a usar es can, porque es una habilidad. Qué tan bueno okay. eres para type. How well can, how well can you? 
porque esa habilidad, igual si dije, dijera por acá, drive, swim, o una actividad que nosotros desarrollamos, es el verbo can lo que les está dando problemas, ¿ok? Así que si lo ponen con can, sí dice Jorge. Ese es el problema, ¿ok? Así que los demás, y ahí se los dejo de tarea, right <ríe> Questions, please. Preguntas. Preguntas. Not really. No, no questions. Vamos a hacer no question, teacher. No, mañana. Thank you so much for participating. And we are going to continue tomorrow. Have a great okay. night. Sure. See you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you, tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Thank you, tomorrow. teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night to you.